Um... Sorry. forward to it. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power, worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate.
okay. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh... Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh. Right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know! Inari sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari? Wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me? Of all people! Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, 
but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Aww, okay. I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do.
All right. <laughs> the rest is on you. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Deep. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep. Welcome. Why are you wearing that? Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait. You don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah. She doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm, I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. Oh, 
okay. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. You want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Still, putting her out in front of customers is a little much. Don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <coughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. She a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro. Want me to bring coffee to more customers? Uh, mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it.
all alone Come facing twilight moon We're on a roll! Everyone. Well, see you later. It's quite hot. Let's say we head on over. Everyone. Right. Well then, I'll see you again.
see ya. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai San recommended it so strongly to me. Hmm. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm, this is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe.
I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Would you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! No! Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Okay. Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip! Don't underestimate me! Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Oh, 
That's so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? <sighs> they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry! We'll go now! We'll switch when we're done! Keep an eye on our stuff for us! Banana! Banana! Ah, the sand's wet! It's dangerous if you run around like that! Here Damn comes it! You don't get how amazing we are! We risk our lives being phantom thieves! There's no way we're the same as other guys around here! <laughs> 